I've decided not to go to the Apple store anymore because people ask me a lot of questions when I go there. And <laughs> I don't actually work there, so I don't know <laughs> what to tell them. But anyway, I, uh, when I, for a while I was doing comedy on this MTV show called Wild and Out, and it's like a hip hop style improv show. So people don't believe me when I tell them that I'm on it. They're like, are you like the accountant or something? <laughs> I guess because like I'm very white, like I just found out my blood type is khaki. <laughs> so the first year I did that show, I couldn't even get into like the after party. The bouncer was like, "This is for the cast of Wild and Out." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm in the cast." He's like, "No, you're not." I was like, "Oh yeah, well, you actually seem to know what you're talking about. I'm out of here." <laughs> but I came back. I was like, "Look, I have a backpack that says Wild and Out." He's like, "Fine, your backpack can come in." <laughs> One time someone actually came up to me, he's like, can I get a picture with your backpack? I was like, do you want me in it? He's like, no, you can take the picture, I guess. But when I auditioned for that show, it was tough because they were like, do you have any impressions? And I don't really do a lot of impressions. I don't know if you've picked up on that so far, but uh, I, was, I, I was trying to come up with something on the spot. I was like, all right, this is uh, Beyonce talking to a marionette maker. If you like it, then you should have put a string on it. And... Uh, <laughs> They're like, is that it? I was like, well, I could do like maybe. Uh, how about like Andy Rooney from CBS's 60 Minutes, <laughs> which might be a weird fit for an MTV show. But I thought maybe if they don't know who the person is, maybe they won't be able to tell that I don't sound like him. <laughs> so I was like, I'm Andy Rooney. I was at the Apple Store. They didn't have any apples. <laughs> and so. The, I didn't think the audition was going well because the producers were like, you know, this is usually like a high energy kind of show. I'm like, oh, I'm not usually high energy. That's why I really turned it up today during this audition. <laughs> and they're like, we don't know if it makes sense for you to be on the show. But once I was on it, they're like, yeah, this really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get to keep doing it for long. For, like, I saw them auditioning new people this year. There was like a nerdy white guy auditioning. I'm like, I wonder who he's going to replace. <laughs> But it's been fun. One time someone recognized me in a coffee shop, but then they thought I left and I was still there. So I got to hear how they would describe me to other people. And they were like, the guy from Wild Now was here, the guy that looks like the grown up kid from the Christmas story if he was homeschooled. <laughs> and they started doing impressions of me, which was hurtful because they were good at impressions. <laughs> but one time someone came up to me, she's like, are you Jacob Williams? I was like, yeah. And she's like, no, you're not. I was like, oh, maybe she's right. She was a lot more confident about this than I was. But usually people are nice. One time someone was like, I've never met a real celebrity before. I'm like, you've still never met a real celebrity. She's like, I watched you for months on that show. I was like, oh, yeah, I watched you for months, too. That's not the right thing to say, probably. Anyway. It is weird if someone's like, you look familiar. I'm like, oh, did you see me on TV? They're like, no, I think I saw you at the Apple store <laughs> earlier. <laughs>